Doom has been modded and put into Minecraft, and I have its maker right here. Sib, thank you very much for coming on the channel today. No worries. So I want to talk about how you put Doom into Minecraft, taking 2016 and Eternal's combat loop into a whole other game like this. How did you do it? Um, so I originally had the idea because I was playing through Doom 2016 when Eternal came out, and I was like, I wonder if I can make this in Minecraft, because I originally made um, some adventure maps back in the day, like 2013, but they were a lot smaller scale. Um, and I knew that there was existing gun packs uh, that other people had made in the community. Um, and I went through and tried to program the Doom guns into Minecraft and actually worked quite well. So Ooh. I went from there. So you basically are taking, and I read a little bit about your mod here, the adventure map rather, and you took the combat loop and resource management and put that into Minecraft. So I'm not someone who has played Minecraft. So teach me a little bit how that worked. Um, so yeah, I wanted to copy the, well not really copy, but have the same gameplay loop of Doom, which is like, um, moving around very quick, I gave the player speed because it's quite slow moving normally in Minecraft. Um, there's chainsaws where you where you get health and ammo. I used that as the replacement for the glory kill because it wasn't really feasible to make that in Minecraft because of all the different animations that I would have had to program and teleporting the player in the same spot. It's just, it was just really tricky for me to do that. So I found that the chainsaw was a good compromise um, to use that. As well as prioritizing demons, I do have the arch file in there, um, and he's quite annoying. I've made him annoying on purpose, so he'll keep on summoning it, summoning in mobs um, if you don't get rid of him quick enough. You from um, 1994 to now, he's he's still yeah. doing it. So you you managed to make him summon just like an eternal, right? Yes, I used an existing mob, and this is the whole thing around the the mobs as well. The enemies is I had to base them around the. The actual mobs in minecraft and i could tweak a little bit of their behavior um because there is an existing mob that summons in new enemies but i just swapped them over to be zombies and imps instead and you made them look like um, it too right you gave them right, good yeah. looks so so if a doom so, player so if a doom player would would come in and download when they face the arch file it'll feel just like eternal essentially yeah whoa what about you know the revenants and and all those enemies how the heavies and other super heavies go yeah, so the the Revenant is in there, and he's quite annoying as well with his missiles. Um, and if he gets too close, he gives you a fire um, fire damage that will shred your health and shield off. So they're quite annoying when they get up close. Um, what else is there? Cacodemons, you can actually shoot the grenade in their mouth, can't you? Yes, I wanted to add that. that <laughs> oh, was that's a, too that cool. was a good idea that someone suggested um, chucking grenade in, your, in their mouth. So what That's happens? Not a good idea. What happens when you do that? Since it's an eternal feature, essentially staggering is. How do you do this in a whole other game like Minecraft? The main challenge was Minecraft's limitations itself. So whether it being uh, player interaction, like detecting them, right clicking, which is the way that I've got it to work with um, shooting the weapons, and throwing the grenade itself. The game detects that the player has interacted with it in the hotbar and then it runs a bunch of commands and detects where you're looking to try and get the angle and the speed um, of the grenade and then once it detects that the grenade entity is nearby the kaku demon then it will run the commands of making the gulp noise and then he dies oh you have the gulp noise too you've, you've been able to bring yeah. that over So, so you've, very satisfying. So you've ma managed it. So you're really wanting to try to recreate, not necessarily maybe recreate, but bring over things just as Doom Eternal pulls from the classics and holds them true to form. It looks like you're wanting to do that new Doom into Minecraft, it sounds like. Faithful is another word. Yeah. So the main, at the very beginning, it was based on Doom 2016. Everything was Doom 2016. And then when I actually bought and played through Eternal, there was... All these cool things like we were talking about the grenade with kaku demon and that gives that gives it a really good use for the grenade because the devs have talked about um wanting to have a use for every single weapon um and i've tried to do the exact same as well like the the uac pistol which is in 2016 there's no pistol in eternal of course the main use for that is just 
one shot headshotting the um, fodder demons, the, the zombies that you can normally change to as well. So, um, ooh. so there's a skill and, shot element. You you can one shot the zombies with the pistol, and you're rewarded for it. Just like say a maker drone headshot has its own skill shot reward. Exactly, yeah. And there's there's um the different weapons actually work f effectively for certain mobs as well. So the imp and the possessed soldier, which is from 2016 as well, um, the plasma rifle is actually very effective for them. Like wow. it will slow them down and like electrocute them. So it really and that's is. Also all within the game as well you can there's actually a codex in the game i can send you a screenshot for that um and you can actually scroll along and then see where it's effective for what the range is the ammo that kind of stuff you know so so hearing all of this makes me feel like as someone who has never played minecraft really if i dropped in i would feel almost at home because i all of these things i've been doing in eternal over these past couple of years i can more or less do a lot of them in your in your game Absolutely, and I wanted to take all the cool, fun stuff from the Doom games and try to implement it. I really, really tried my best to implement the dash because I love it so much, um, but it just wasn't feasible, unfortunately, in Minecraft. Like, there was so many times where I would dash, which would, in the game, it teleports you the player, oh. and I would dash through a wall and then glitch out of the map, so uh -oh, that's... I scrapped that one up. Ah, that's okay. And, and, you know, we were talking about the meat hook earlier and, and trying yes. to make that work. How... On, on a more basic level, how could a meat hook work and what problems would it have? It would rely on teleportation commands, which is janky because of just how it looks. The frame rate isn't... When you're being teleported, the frame rate becomes staggered and it will only show you a maximum of 20 frames per, per second. Okay, um, so it's not, not a smooth experience, but that no, sounds more smooth. like a technical limitation. That's exactly right, yeah. Or something that, if you did put in the game, wouldn't, wouldn't be the same fun zone? Because you're balancing it around everything that you have currently and all of the fun parts of the Doom games. Like the weapons we talked about, the BFG. You have one of those, don't you? Yes, exactly. So I got the BFG and there. He will instant shot everything that's not a boss. Um, so that's like the last... Um, if you're feeling panicked, just like the Doom games, you use it as a last resort. Or if you want to clear through something really quick, Wow. So, so where do you do you find the BFG ammo? Just on the ground, or can you get it from enemies like in 2016? How did you balance around that to make it fun? Um, so, of course, you wouldn't pick up. You don't pick up the uh, BFG ammo if you don't have the BFG. So that will um, that unlocks in the third level after you collect the BFG. And of course, there's limited ammo as well because I didn't want the player spamming it. Exactly. Um, it is just ground items that you pick up. So how do you have, so when, you, when you're doing all this balancing and trying to keep it true to form to Eternal, what about when it comes to the other weapons? Like how do you keep the shotgun still valuable w after you get the super shotgun? John Romero has gone on record as stating that he wanted to keep all the weapons having a purpose. How do you do that? Yeah, so as I mentioned, the UAC pistol that's got infinite ammo and that's perfect for um, instant one-shotting the, the zombie fodder demons. The combat shotgun is different to the super shotgun because the combat shotgun has slightly more range and it only uses one shotgun ammo per shot it does do less damage than the super shotgun but if you can get up close and personal with the super shotgun then it does quite a lot more damage the chainsaw is the the main lifeline of the game like i mentioned it's that it replaces glory kills so whenever you're really low health or you need ammo or both you will run up to one of the fodder demons, which is a zombie or an imp, and then you cut him in half, get his drops, and then continue on. The gorse cannon, I liked the gorse cannon a little bit over the... Went over uh, the ballista. ballista. Yeah, just because of how it was easier to animate, and um, I'm probably biased because <laughs> I played 2016 first and very much enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, I uh, did speedrunning 2016, and the gauss, I have... I. <laughs> Got to use it a lot. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure you did speed running. Yeah, that's that's good fun. It's a plasma rifle, as I mentioned. That's perfect for the imps and the possessed soldiers. Those are the guys with the the red energy rifles. Yep. Um, you can basically shoot um at them to electrocute them and slow them down, and then kill them quickly as well, much faster than the other guns most of the time. The rocket launcher. Uh, what about that one? You gotta have it in, yeah, so in the I Doom game. I didn't have the rocket launcher. Oh, no. I actually ran out of I ran out of hot bar slots because there's only nine hot bar slots in Minecraft. And the final weapon that you get in the last level is the Crucible, which has limited ammo and can one shot 
non-boss enemies which includes those pesky arch vials, and I must admit it is very satisfying chopping those guys with the crucible. I'm sure there's still the other weapons fill that void and it still feels good to play because yes, of all the balancing. I tried to make it like that. You put a lot of care into this. You've been working on this for a while, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so um, I started working on it on the gun pack at the very beginning in March 2020. Oh wow. And I've just been working on it in my spare time ever since. I've, I've estimated that it's around 1200 hours I probably spent on it. Man, that's see, you, you don't get to something and work on it that long without it being a passion project. Like, you can't do that without some love for it, which you clearly like both it, games a lot. Yeah, exactly right. It was, um, I really like Doom, I really like Minecraft, and I was like, I wonder if I can merge these together. Because back in the day, I did spend a lot of time on um, much smaller scale adventure maps. And it was a lot more limited with the functionalities and commands that you could actually implement in there. It's changed a lot. I think even too, there, there's got to be some sort of connection with Doom and Minecraft, right? I feel like that there, I could be wrong on this, and if I am wrong, someone please correct me in the comments. We have had uh, some Doom modders come from Minecraft, and Kaiser Will, if you're watching this, please correct me on this if, if that's where you started. So how do you find there is sort of a connection there? Maybe. I wouldn't, like, if you w were thinking of Doom and Minecraft, you wouldn't think that would match at all. Um, the arch file is very, very similar to the Evoker mob in Minecraft, whereas if you get if you get close to him, then he will summon in more mobs, um, and you have to get rid of him as quick as possible. So I found that that was, that was a good way to implement them. Now, of course, um, recently they got acquired by Microsoft, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they're owned by the same companies now. Nice. Which is good. And speaking of companies, you have been featured in Kotaku and PC Gamer, is that right? PC Games in and Kotaku and PC Mag, yes. Oh, nice. And, and how many downloads have you had so far? Um, in less than 24 hours, it's at 366, which is pretty good. Oh, yeah. And, and that's some big, big news sites there that, that you got featured in, which was really neat. But yeah, that... I've noticed my, um, my trailer, because they've been sharing the trailer on the website which is perfect exactly what i wanted the um views have been climbing up quite quickly awesome what sort of uh, struggles have you faced i mean you have all these good things working for you the promotion from kotaku and pc gaming and everything working in your favor what's been tough it's been really tough to do so far and how have you come past that mainly just minecraft itself just the limitations especially with um the enemy ai like if you run a little bit too far away from it then it will just completely lose you and it, it kind of ruins the experience sometimes. I've tried in commands to extend it as far as possible for the for the um, mods to chase after you. And like I mentioned, detecting the player interaction. I was able to do it with right click with a certain item in Minecraft where it can detect it. Um, so that's firing weapons. The double jump was actually, it's kind of scuffed, but it's jump and crouch, and then it will make you jump. You have a double jump. It's, you did the double jump. That's right. Oh, I did do the too cool. Jump. You have to have that. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't mention that earlier. It slipped my mind. No, it's good. It's um, in level two, you pick up the jump boots. Um, oh. And then there's like a tutorial, I guess, area to um, try and t show you how to do it. Um, I had a bunch of my playtesters get stuck in their hair as well. Oh, no, no. How many levels are there? speaking of so there's four and four in total there's the mars level at the start which is like the introduction there's no bosses or anything level two there is a boss and it's like a, the uac facility based on then level three there's the foundry that's probably the biggest level i'd think there's lots of gorness in that level and objectives um there's a boss in that level as well and level four is the nether which in minecraft is essentially the same as hell oh which is what this um the adventure map is based on the name that's where i tied it in now that you mention it very nice um, nether and hell is essentially the same thing yeah yeah i can see i can see where that would come together even with the bosses too i'm sure you have something set up in the final level spoiler alert yeah. <laughs> the final boss is actually the icon of sin oh um and i had to custom custom implement that like the 3d models the behavior and I actually implemented about 80 or 90 animations, like in wow. stop motion style. You know, when you take a stop yeah. motion video, you take a picture, move the thing, take a picture again. It's essentially stop motion, but I run it quickly, um, so it looks like a full animation. Very nice. But yeah, the, the, the Iconosyn took 
like two months itself to develop just because there's no other minecraft mob that's that size and would work how i wanted it to that's why i made it custom and also it was like the little cherry on top at the end of the map it's like a, a big deal at the end that is pretty cool and, and you know looking at all these things you made so far everything that you've done over these past years what is next good question i think with it being just released less than 24 hours ago i don't have anything planned i have had lots of people uh, already ask about what's next and someone suggested master levels <laughs> of me just making <laughs> it a lot harder there you go um, I had the idea of, just because I can't help myself, horde mode. Oh man, I that would like be rough. I do like horde mode, but like a, with a mix of Call of Duty zombies, like somewhere in between those. That like would be endless something. waves essentially. But again, like I mentioned, the limited range of it, Minecraft's AI would be the main problem. And I think ultimately it wouldn't work because of that issue. So let's say you run, I don't know, 30 blocks away, they will just completely make it yeah it's limitations system limitations yeah that's exactly right no worries i think there's a lot to I'm, I'm very curious to see how this goes in the future and i will put all of your links in the description of this video so if you are interested in trying this out check the description it'll all be there thank you so much for coming on the channel today and very curious to see what everybody says yes thanks for having me it's been great all right check the description thank you for watching